Thanks for stopping by to the latest video here at Hayward Tech Support. Um, I'm working here in Columbia, South Carolina. I've got a job going on tomorrow. I'm just hanging out at my buddy Patrick's house. And uh, I wanted to show you the project he's been working on, kind of like a cheap, affordable, well, cheap, <laughs> affordable automation system. It's kind of funny because, you know, we're members of uh, the CareCraft Buying Group, and there was a vendor there last year, and Patrick had questioned, questioned them. I talked to one of their head engineers, like, hey, man, like, hey, if we could, you know, have like a low cost, maybe slightly dumbed down version of an uh, automation system, you know, we might be able to sell it like hotcakes around here just for more basic pools, you know, pump, filter, maybe a heater, lights. Um, and he kind of scoffed at the idea, wrote us off, said he was a bad salesman <laughs> if, he <couldn't, laughs> if he couldn't sell that, like a high-end, high-dollar product like that. So uh, Patrick's taking it into his own, own hands and is kind of creating his own automation system. So I wanted to give you, uh, kind of show you guys what we had going on here. If we open up the case, um, we've got, we've got a Raspberry Pi plugged into a relay board. So with eight low voltage relays, we've got a uh, USB and this is, you know, like a pr prototype, but a USB to RS-485 communication that plugs into the, uh, plugs into the Raspberry Pi. Um, this board right here is essentially for, um, <clears throat> valve actuators. So we can send 24 volts AC to the valve actuators, um, and flip them one way or the other way. Um, we've got, so we've got like a Hayward pump and we're able to reverse engineer the, uh, pump communication protocol for the Hayward variable speed pumps into our Raspberry Pi and totally control the Hayward pump. And then we've got like a communication cable for his gas heater and then the, uh, communication cables for his, uh, heat pump and the cool side of the heat pump as well. So we can control all that. And then we've got, it's built into, to be able to control, you know, his lights. So we're kind of still working on that. But uh, that being said, I wanted to show you the app. Um, we've got basically the way we, we connect to it is like locally with an, uh, you know, we connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi's IP address. We created a little shortcut here on the iPad. So if we open it up, we've got the control freak. <laughs> so we've got... Uh, here we, whoop, we've got uh, our current temperature, we've got our target temperature, um, we've got our pump running 80% speed, it shows the power usage. Um, if we wanted to change the speed, you just go 100% apply speed. Um, heater is on right here, it's enabled, it's in standby because the pool temperature is higher than the target temperature. And then same thing, I mean, if we wanted to turn on the heat pump, the cool pump, the lights, um, I'll go ahead and show you if we, you want to maybe show the relay board up here. If I turn the turn the lights on, that right now I'll turn you know number five relay number five on. Whoops! Oh, that's not set up. Well, I guess that's all I can do right now. But yeah. <laughs> turn it off. There you go. And then uh, we go here. Like right now, he's got like auxiliaries and everything. Kind of call he call it, we're calling them things right now. That's uh, TBD. Whether that'll that'll you could show how you set them up. Oh yeah, how to set up like a thing. So if we want to set up auxiliary five, you just set up thing. So type is a heater, heat pump, cool pump, or custom. So custom name, thing five. If it was a, um, let's just say it was a spa blower, you could just, oops, can't type. And then you can set up a password, which right now it's, is it all caps? All cap freak. Freak. All capital. I put on the caps. No. 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 Set up thing. Incorrect password. Okay. So now we got spa blower if we want to turn that on. We got relay five kicked on. And then if you want to set a schedule for anything or any auxiliary, you can kind of, kind of go down. You got your pump schedule and then your thing schedule. So um, select thing, right? Lights. Let's go to not that you'd ever want to schedule a spa blower, but you do start time, end time. You can um, click on the start time. Is that one? Show them how it works. Start time. Let's do that. End time. 8.48 p.m. Add to schedule. Oh, 
It happened. It. See it showing up. Where's it at? Oh, the spa blower. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Yep, so that works there just like that. And then you'll show like the local IP address if you if you wanted to, you know, create a sh shortcut from your phone, but if you wanted to type that that exactly address into your phone or your iPad, that's how you can uh, connect locally. So for the prototype right now, that's all we want and we might just do that, you know, to keep cost low initially but um you want to grab the ipad and show them the pump changing yeah let's show them the pump changing it's a little dark out here but uh so we are i'm gonna go ahead and just change his pump speed just so you can kind of see it work change the speed to 60 percent apply speed you can see the pump just slow down. I'm sure you can hear that. Turn it back up to 100, apply speed. There we go, kick back up. Same thing, this heater is, should kick on here in a second. Let me change the set temperature. So then our heater should kick on here. There we go, we got our heater just kicking on. You can hear that kicking on? Hayward HDF 400. So maybe let's get over here in the light real quick. Yeah, so I think that's the bait. That's the uh, bulk of the video. Just kind of wanted to show you the automation that we're working on. Pretty cool. We're maybe looking to commercialize it here soon, but we got a basic prototype. We're going to kind of reverse engineer some of the uh, light protocols and. Um, some of the maybe RS, RS45 protocols from other pumps and gas uh, heater heat pumps. So uh, we'll look forward to that and we'll, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for stopping by.